Welcome everybody. Today we have a very, very important question, an important story. First of all, today uh, I'm, I'm Muslim and I'm going to teach you Islam. This is why I did not say in the name of Christ or peace of Christ. Today the story is extremely important. And today we have with us a bunch of scholars coming from around the world to listen to the wisdom of Allah and his prophet. The knowledge which nobody knows, save the prophet, peace upon him. Allah pray for him, not to him. Today, we have very important information to share. But let me first introduce for you the scholars of Islam, who they are today with us, to support our study, in case you have any questions. Scholars, are you there? All right, sound like you're very exciting. Did you do your homework? Very Islamic. I mean, who need to do homework in a religion? Everybody say, inshallah, and therefore nothing is done. Now, today the, start, the topic is about Noah. How we will know the story of Noah? Muhammad, he have details nobody have. And he told his followers a lot of stories, very beautiful stories. And today is about a prophet, his name is Isa, who told us the story. Because only Isa, he knew the unseen. Muhammad do not know. You see, Muhammad, he got the information from Isa. Mm -hmm. So, what the story about Noah? How, what happened with this man, his name is Noah? As you see in the screen, uh, we have a lion, and uh, actually we have an elephant too. And actually we have uh, this cat too. All of this they are involved in the story. So uh, have patience with me, so you will learn something you never heard before. Unless you are listening to me for many years. Uh, in the book of Ibn Kathir, and this is a very well-known Muslim scholar, the Muslims are so proud about him. Actually, me, me, myself, I'm proud about him too. In the book of Ibn Kathir, of Al-Bidaya and Al-Nihaya, volume number one, page number 131. Now, you see, you guys, you don't speak Arabic. I know this is coming. Do you agree, scholars? <laughs> they don't know Arabic, they don't know Hebrew. <laughs> Correct? <laughs> All right. You guys are very loud. You shout too much, but nobody understands anything. Anyway, so the story in the front of us here, that people, they were walking with Isa, and this Isa, supposedly, he is Jesus. And the one who was walking with him, they are al hawariyun which means the disciple of Jesus, like John, Peter, etc., and then they say to Isa, bring us a man so he can witness for us for what happened about uh, the, the, the ship of this person, Noah. Like the, 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 which means, if there is any proof that this story happened. And then Isa, he woke. I'm going to use Google Translation to show you the translation, but let us go first in Arabic. So Isa, he walked with them until he arrived a little, like, little high... Uh, sand and he took from it and, and like uh, he grabbed some sand in his hand and he said to them do you know what is this they said we do not know O Rasulullah okay uh, <clears throat> please don't talk uh, scholars unless I ask you I mean if I ask you you say nothing <clears throat> so he took a grab of he grabbed some sand in his hand and he said to them do you know who is this they said no only Allah and his messenger know he said this is the bottom of Ham the son of Noah if 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 and when I say the bomb, I don't see his uh, bomb. I mean, his uh, the bomb is of his feet. And then 
the Messiah, he hit the sand with his stick. And then this person, Ham, he come from the sand. And he start taking the sand away from his clothing. Let, let me use Google Translation. At least you guys, you can read with me, even though the translation will not be really, really, really good, as you know. But, uh, you know, I mean, better than nothing. So, <clears throat> the story here is getting uh, complicated, as you see, you know. Uh, as you see here, he said to them, do you know who is this? What is this? They said, Allah and his messenger know best. He said, this is Kaab, which means the, the, you know, the end of the, like, uh, well, I don't know really what the word in English. Like the, your your uh, your feet heals, like you know when when the, that that location exactly. So uh, this is Ham, the son of Noah. Imagine Isa, he walk in the desert and he grabs some sand, and from all the desert he knew that this sand is Noah. Okay, and then he said, and this suppose this is a prophet of Allah. I mean, how he knew that he is not God, Muslims. How he knew that? I mean, you walk in the desert and you grab uh, uh, some sand and you say, this is a... Anyway, so then he struck the sand with his stick. And right away, the brothers and sisters, the brother Ithithar, the prophet Etha, he did hit the, with the thick, the sand. And right away, a man came from the sand. A man came from the sand. Who is that? The brother. This is Ham, the son of Noah. And then he started taking the dust away from him, because for sure he was a sand a second ago. I mean, <laughs> think about it. And he was a young man, you see? He was a young man. And uh, uh, Isa, he said to him, uh, is that how you died? Isa, he asked the person, is that how you die? Like, because, which means like, and you, you died young? He said, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Uh, <clears throat> he said, I, I died, and yes, I was young, I was young, uh, but uh, 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 I thought, because you know uh, the translation here is not coming correctly, uh, he have a he have a gray here, you know. So they are uh, Isa ask him, okay, how which mean how how you are young, and yet you have a gray here. So he said to him, well, I died when I was young, but. Because I thought this is the hour, which means the judgment hour, uh, my hair uh, became a gray. It makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, put yourself in his shoe. And then uh, the purpose of this story, supposedly, or why why Isa, or supposedly Jesus, the Muslim Isa, uh, Muslim Jesus, uh, he resurrected this person from the ground because they asked him for a witness for the story. So, so he thought this is the judgment time, the judgment day, and this is why he have a gray hair. And then he told us about uh, the ship of uh, Noah. How big it is. So he starts saying how big, how wide. Uh, it's a three floors, um, etc. And then it has inside all kind of animals and beast. One, one floor, and one floor have all a human, and one floor have all birds. I mean, makes sense, okay. And then when the feces of the animals became uh, too much, Allah, he inspired Noah. It 
okay what what he inspired him to do he told him to get a stick and hit the ass of the elephant and immediately when he hit his ass pigs they came out from his anus pigs they came out from the anus of the elephant by the way this is a true story i mean it's scientifically very accurate and then like what is the purpose of those like why he hit him in his anus as allah told him because simply he won the pigs and right away the pigs they start eating the poo poo scholars do you agree about this they agree here we go they are witnesses too i mean what you can say so when he hit the uh, uh, uh where is the english one yeah when he hit the the elephant in his uh, ass under his tail right away pigs they came out and they start eating the feces of the animals right away they jump into the poopoo -poo. you see how I, uh, now we knew why allah he created the pigs okay let me ask you the pig they ate the poopoo -poo. what what about the poopoo -poo of the pigs <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> uh, uh, true story this is all his true stories you know like uh uh, when, when you listen to those stories from Allah and his messenger you feel like you are coming in. you are going to the space but I mean to the to, in, I mean in the ocean sorry going back to the time of Noah it's amazing very amazing and then the story is not over yet it is not over Muhammad, he have more to tell us. Now the Muslim, they will say, this is not Muhammad speaking. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All your stories, Muslims, coming from where? I mean, who are you? Do you have authority? Are you a prophet? Who is the one who told you the story? Just, 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 just yeah, cool down. Cool down. And then, brothers and sisters, after the pigs came out and they start eating the poo, poo there was other problems. other problem and by the way uh, when he hit the elephant in his anus uh, uh, two pigs came out one male and one female just to let you know so if not that reason I mean we will not have pigs now pigs before that time there wasn't exist but after this story they came to existence but then there is a big 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 uh, like issue happen from the poo, -poo uh, of the elephant not only pigs they came out uh, a mice came out now the story is not really showing where this where the mice is coming out from the anus or from the poo, -poo itself but it says that so now they have a mice and they want to control the mice because the mice will eat the food of noah and that will be a problem. So Allah, He inspired Noah to hit the lion between his eyes, specifically between his eyes. I mean, let me show you where. See, this is the eyes of the lion. And that, by the way, explain why the nose of the lion is big. I mean, I was wondering why his nose is so big. Look at this nose, man. So he hit him here. And right away after he hit the lion, as Allah told him, Prophet Noah, what happened? You will not believe it. A mountain cat, or let's say they call it field cat, like a wild cat, came out from the nose of the elephant. Allahu Akbar. From the nose.
very 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 and by the way not only one cat wild cat two cats male and female it should it should be two like come on and that is a story explaining to us one of the unseen discovery which nobody can explain save the prophet of allah and his god muhammad and all those stories are scientifically to be proven however if you live in india uh, try to hit uh, the lion between his eyes let us see if uh, a wild cat will come out and uh, if you are in india too or sri lanka uh, try to hit the elephant in his anus with a stick and let us see if pigs can come out actually why want to grow pigs just get elephant and we hit the elephant in his anus and we get all the pigs we want. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's amazing. It's amazing how a human being can be silly and stupid. How a human being can be very silly and very stupid. Why a human being he do such a thing to himself? I mean, how a human being became rusty as a brain to this point to believe in such stupid. Who is in the world going to believe in this? Yes, my friend. This is what the Muslims believe in for 14 centuries and until now they believe in it. And yet they make videos for you speaking about Islam and science. Obviously, Islam is very scientific. If you don't believe me, we just told you a lot of science today don't worry be happy muslims they knew exactly how scientific their book and this is why they fabricate videos make it look like it's about science i mean the quran and stories of muhammad to cover the stupidity we see in their books stupidity my friend cannot be covered by lies people will find out easy and then not only they will laugh at the original stupidity they will laugh at the new stupidity you created to cover the first stupidity. Garbage in, garbage out. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And don't forget to download the video and share it with your friend. And don't hit the lion between his eyes. This is Muhammad. He's a crazy man saying stupid things. Don't do that. And don't hit the elephant in his anus with a stick. He will kill you. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I am not responsible of any stupid practice anyone do. This is Muhammad saying stupid things. This is not me. And I'm showing you what Muhammad said and what Muhammad told and what the Muslims believe. And you are the judge. Thank you. And now we have to go back to the space so we can hear, hear more stories from Prophet Muhammad. Because his God, he told him those stories. And the only place we can find those stories is the space of Allah. See you soon.